Hey everyone, it's Jess from Ivis here. I am here with my fifth transmission video, and yes, I am in my car. Um, <laughs> I just left um, my first job, and uh, some of you may know what that is. Uh, it's very exciting. Uh, not your normal go around, uh, but it is in the healing nature, and I really, really love it. So, but I've been getting this message longer than this week. So I just wanted to touch on a couple things and make this video kind of short because I would like to upload it to my Instagram and also YouTube without there being a live stream with it involved. So make it the video a little shorter and maybe be able to get this message out. So blessed Friday's day, everyone. Uh, today is the fifth transmission I'm bringing you all. Um, now this message, uh, <clears throat> disconnect to reconnect, um, taking chances is the only way to change your fate. So this is something that's been coming in for a couple weeks now. Um, but now I've noticed over the fa past few days, uh, the more I've been uh, putting into words my visions um, to be able to do this video, I've been coming up with this message that I actually received last May. Um, I went on a trip, a hiking trip with some people, and it was very informative and very inspiring um, spiritually for my purpose um, and that of my shamanic work. Um, so back then I had made this post when returning that disconnect to reconnect is very important that we disconnect from certain modern day things like technology um, in order to reconnect to our soul's purpose, our soul's divinity and spiritual growth. Um, this this message is very, very, very strong lately. Um, and actually, today I've been getting so many validations about this. It's wild. Just hearing other people talk about stuff. Um, so here's the message. I'm getting a message that we need to com not completely disconnect from technology, but we need to understand, especially in this time that we're stuck in the house and, you know, we don't have much to do instead of picking up that device to play that video game, instead of picking up that numbing virtual reality type of technique uh, game that you like to play or whatever the case may be, augmented reality, I can't stand it. I actually will be doing another video probably with Ashley from Ascension next um, on our thoughts and our <clears throat> channel messages about that information. Um, I'm not going to go into that here. I just want to use that as an example. Um, the technology, the augmented augmented reality and things like that and how that is completely disconnecting you from your spiritual divinity um and that is you know in moderation everything isn't bad okay when being aware of certain things and limits that's not bad but seeing a lot of people are stuck in their home and they're fully submerging themselves into let the time go by. Let me play this game. Let me be on Facebook for three hours. Let me watch this TV. Let me binge this Facebook, uh, Netflix. Let me, I haven't watched TV in over a week just because I've been in my transmission so hard and making, um, doing services and doing write ups and doing certain things that, and, and creating. Um, so I've been like kind of disconnected. I haven't been messaging back on certain messages. So I apologize now for delay in that message, uh, message response. Um, I will get to everybody as, po as soon as possible. Um, sometimes when I get into the mode of my seer ability, I kind of disconnect. Um, which is kind of the message here. Uh, I have to walk away or, you know, get away from others' energies. Um, some people don't really like that. Uh, some friends or people that, you know, want to hang out. Like, listen, I'm in the, I'm in that zone. I got to stay in that zone and I'm not getting out of it. And when I'm in that zone, other people's energies tend to not influence, but it takes, it's longer for me to deter between them because I'm receiving this information, but then I'm also like, because I'm open to that channel, my seer channel, is that it, it almost like picks up on theirs, their transmissions as well. So then I'm like, uh, I got to friggin, you know, separate them. So when I get into that mode, my seer channel turns on, I need to disconnect and seclude myself. So let me get back to what this message is all about. Um, again, today I have been receiving a lot of validation about this just by people in their conversations. And some people were like, oh my God, there's so many video games on sale right now. I want to buy all these games. And I'm just like, oh my God, they're going to go like spend all this money on games, which whatever that, whatever floats your boat, I get it. But consciously on a level of spiritual awakening, video games are dumbing you down. Bottom line, 
all these little, like, I don't care who gets mad at this message. Y'all hate on me for it. I say it to my child. I say it to a lot of people. To or In order to connect to your spiritual awareness, you have to stop numbing your brain with that computer screen, that video game screen, that scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. I'm not saying never do it, but in moderation. Do not allow it to take over your consciousness. When your consciousness is fully devoted and I want that, it's almost like a drug. So technology can be a drug for people and I want you people to understand it. it. There's an addictive quality to that. But also keep in mind when you're feeding that addictive quality of needing that technology and needing that video game or TV show or social media, you know, time, think about the other things you could be doing with that time. Don't waste your time. This is like another good message I've been getting where uh, there'll be moments I'm in my car idling because I'm scrolling, scrolling, scrolling before I go in the house. And then all of a sudden, my car will stop beeping. My check engine light will go on. And I'm like, yo, what the hell? And I shut my car off. The next day, it's fine. But I notice now every single time I idle and waste the time that I could be using to utilize whatever that may be, my creations, my purpose, a class, teach, like putting together something to help others learn about this, the spiritual world and things like that. I'm going to get this red flag like, hey, something's wrong. You need to go utilize your time better. So that's just for me personally um, as an example. <laughs> but I do want to keep this short because I want to be able to upload it to Facebook. Uh, I mean, I apologize, Instagram TV, because I've been trying to uh, utilize that channel as well. Um, so I just hope you guys can kind of understand what I'm trying to get at. There will be a part two of this message. So please stay tuned for that. I want to say Sunday night, I might be doing it. Um, I have to go in and make some candles and do a few things this weekend. So I'm, I'm thinking Sunday night, I may do part two, but basically what I'm trying to get you guys to understand is disconnect to reconnect. Um, allow your consciousness to function. Take a chance and change your fate. Do you want to be a zombie in the matrix or do you want to be an enlightened being on a spiritual journey and your purpose fulfilled? Um, because I know I do. And, uh, if you're too zoned into these games or these, the television or just the augmented reality, which is look it up and then you can give me a little feedback of what your opinion is. Um, you're shutting off your consciousness. You're not, you know, connecting to that. You're kind of dumbing it down. So that's my message today, whether it be blunt or not. I ap I don't apologize for being truthful. Um, this has been coming in very clear, and I really, really, really hope everybody understands and hears it out uh, because it's, it's very important for our society right now more than ever to connect to our consciousness, to be able to uplift and rise one another and move forward in the world we want to create in this new world. So I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Uh, I will see you all soon. Peace, love, and blessings. Bye.